Hi all, this is Alan with Bothwell STEM Coach and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus 2005 free response question and here's number four. Note that we've moved on to the non-calculator portion of the free response questions. So let f be a function that is continuous in this interval, 0 to 4. The function is twice differentiable except at x equals 2. The function f and its derivatives have the property indicated in the table above where d and e indicates the derivatives of f do not exist at x equals 2. Okay, for between 0 and 4, find all the values of x in which f has a relative minimum. Determine whether f is a relative maximum or relative at each of these values, or relative extrema. So relative extrema, or critical points, are when the first derivative is 0. And when is the first derivative equal to 0? Uh, at 1, or, 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 does, or does not exist. Sorry, I should have checked. Or done. So I have x equals uh, 1, or x equals 2. So right here and here is when the derivative is zero. Now I gotta, uh, so now I gotta check. Um, I can use a second derivative test, but if it's zero, like it doesn't tell me anything, and the second derivative here doesn't tell me anything. So I gotta look for sign changes in the slopes. So maximums occur when the slope changes from positive to negative, and minimums occur when the slope changes from negative to positive. Okay, negative slope, positive slope. So uh, here with no sign change. So x equals 1 is not an extrema. And here it went from positive to negative. So positive to negative um, uh, is a maximum, right? So x equals 2 is a rel max, relative max. There's no relative min. B, on the axis provided, sketch the graph of a function that has all the characteristics of f. Oh, great. So f of 0 is negative 1, so I'm going to put that there. f of 1 is equal to 0. f of 2 is equal to 2. 2 here. f of 3 is equal to 0. Now, f of the derivative at 0 has to be positive, and this, so that means positive 4, and they have to have positive slopes the whole way. Um, then the slope hits 0 at 1, so it goes like this. Then the slopes are still positive, so this is a kind of an inflection point right here, maybe. Um, no slope at here, and then it goes negative slope, and then at 3 is a pretty, neg pretty steep negative slope, and then it's negative. So, and then it has to have negative concavity here, so it's going to go like this. That's negative concavity, and it's going to switch to positive concavity. Then it's going to have negative concavity and negative slope. So this is what negative concavity and negative slope looks like. And then it goes to positive concavity, but still has negative slope. So it's going to do like this. OK, so that, that would be sufficient. Remember, concavity is uh, it's like a bowl up, bowl down, versus and then slopes positive. Negative. OK, cool. Let g be the function divided by this. In the open interval, find all values of x which g has a relative extrema. So I want to know when g prime of x is equal to zero or does not exist. By fundamental theorem of calculus, g prime of x is equal to f prime of x, or sorry, f of x, because it just gets rid of the integral part. And so that equals zero or does not exist at uh, x equals 1 and x equals 3, right? It's 0 there and there. OK, and then um, by first derivative test, it goes from negative to positive. Negative to positive means x equals 1 is a minimum. And x equals 3 goes from positive to negative. That means x equals 3, it's a relative maximum. Right, and I'm looking at f, which is the same as g prime of x. So I'm looking at the slopes of g, right, by looking at f of x. For the function g to find a part c, find all the values of x between zero and four, which the graph g has a point of inflection, and justify your answer. Why? Well, I, I explain. Inflection points are where concavity changes, so that means the second derivative changes, and that happens at z equals one and three. Those are points of inflection because concavity changes. Concavity, which is the second derivative, 
of x changes changes signs or changes from positive to negative that kind of thing okay cool let's take a look at the solutions um uh, relative max at two uh, that looks pretty good looks similar to what we drew um, relative max at three and relative min at uh, one is that what I said relative min at one relative max at three good and then points of inflection at um, oh, oh crap they were not at, they're asking for points of inflection of G, not F. So, uh, that's my mistake. I don't know why I messed that part up. Uh, X equals two would be correct because you want points of concavity for G. That means I need to know when G of X changes signs. G double prime of X is equal to F prime of X, right? Because we said G prime of X is equal to F of X. So that means G double prime of X is equal to F prime of X. And so, um, ah, great. So f prime of x changes signs at 2, x equals 2. So x equals 2 is a point of inflection. OK, so uh, I messed up on that part. So well, I still, I still hope you found it helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.